Hi and welcome to this blog post on small multiples. Now, what small multiples allow you to do is by using a graph, they allow you to split the values by different categories. So you get one graph for each categorical value. It's a great way to visualize a lot of complex data in one go. Small multiples have just been released in preview in Power BI as of December 2020. So without any further ado, let's go and have a look at a demo. So let's have a look at small multiples. And this is part of the 2020 release. So the first thing to do, of course, is to turn on the small multiples within the preview features. Once that's done, then, of course, you might have to restart Power BI. Now, let me just explain the data and the report we're looking at here. This is bicycle thefts in my local area for the last six years. And you can see that that's been split up into postcode area or postal area. And I've got 16 where I live. So I've got WA1 through to WA16. And you can see beneath this visual, I've actually displayed the number of bike thefts within that month. Of course, all of these visuals cross filter as you would expect. So if I'm looking at trying to get an understanding of a bike thefts by postcode, this is one way that I can do it in this type of visual here or this collection of visuals. Let's have a look at the stats column chart. And here I've got the months as the category and then the values are the total bike thefts, as you can see here. Now, if I wanted to see the bike thefts in each postcode by month, then of course what I would typically do is go and drag postcode into the legend area. Now, that doesn't create a particularly nice or easy to read visual. So, this is where small multiples comes in. And having checked the preview feature, I now get this field available within the visualization. So it's a simple case of dragging the postcode field into the small multiples area. Now, remember I've got 16 postcodes, and so I've created, or the Power BI has created for me, a four by four visual, or allowed me to create a four by four visual. So in here, I can now see the bike thefts by month for each postcode. Let's just have a quick look at that. So here's WA1. And within WA1, I could select a single data point. And of course, all the cross filtering applies. And so I can see I've had 25 bike thefts on that data point. I can, of course, multi click data points within a postcode and then, of course, across postcodes as well. Not only can I do that, but I could select an individual postcode. So there's all the bike thefts for WA3. And of course, I can control click and then select, in this case, WA5 as well. If I choose the categorical data, let's just choose June here. Then June is selected again for all 16 postcodes. And of course, I could control click further as well. So that gives you an overview, a brief overview of small multiples. What can we do in the formatting? Well, from the formatting tab here, I've got the small multiple title, which really just allows me to say where I want that placed and the text size for each multiple. The other thing I can do is choose the grid layout. So here I've purposefully chosen a four by four grid simply because I've got 16 postcodes and it fits very nicely. So that's the formatting option. Now, the small multiples work for pretty much all of the charts that feature or display categorical data. So let's just go and have a look at the stacked bar chart. Now, this is interesting because we've got a scroll bar along the vertical line or the vertical axis, the Y axis for those months. And so if I choose to scroll, notice how all of the bars across all of the visuals scroll at the same time. Really, we're trying to keep all of the data in sync here. Let's have a look at a line chart and an area chart. Now, I like the area charts at the moment because each side of a visual is bounded. So I could see the left hand side, the bottom 
and then the right hand side. So for me, an area chart at the moment is a lot clearer than a line chart. So have a play around and see which sort of visual works for you. I can also use a cluster column chart. So in this case, it's the same really as the stacked column chart. But what I've done in this case is I've added in the falls within as the legend and the falls within is actually the police force which reported the, the bike theft. So here you can see WA13. We've just got a little bit of data from Cheshire Constabulary and then the little black line there is Greater Manchester Police. OK, that's a very brief overview of small multiples. Expect to see more information coming along from Microsoft. Great, so now you know lots of things about small multiples. Please do subscribe to the channel to get updates about new Power BI features and to learn some of the existing features. Catch you later.